his name is on this thing. And I told this to him in his faith, you know, that I, I hope that we we do right by him as as a group, that we yeah. go out and we make sure we take care of ourselves, man, to, to show the best of ourselves. Because you got to think if my name was on it or somebody, you know, somebody. So, you know, I, I, I appreciate him. And I want to show him I appreciate him by staying in shape and going out there and, and doing the best that I can do. Uh in the process, man. So, and, and to answer your question, if God wills, I've signed up for next year. The first game is June 22nd in Houston. Uh, the same okay. team. We're going to have a few different players on the team. But uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's looking interesting. <laughs> all right. Hey, Mahmoud. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you take one more call, Mahmoud. Uh, yes, sir. 540, you're on. How are you doing, Mr. McMoon? My name is Robert T. Green. How are you doing, Mr. Robinson, uh, Ricky? I just want to make a quick doing, point, Bob? and I uh, want to thank you, because uh, as an athlete, what not been mentioned is that, you know, you played on a team sport. And so a lot of guys, whether it's Muhammad Ali or guys before you, to make a stand on a team sport where you know that the majority of the players are taught how to and what to do and also to act in the same way, to be a leader on the field, on the court in your case, and off the court, but you that lead by example, is something that, you know, today's athletes in college and the pros um, cannot be measured. You know, obviously media doesn't give you the credit that you deserve for that, but to take that stand not only as an athlete but as a man in general to stand aside when it comes to a team in uniform, I want to appreciate that. I want to let you know I really appreciate it and what I try to do today for athletes, you know, young and old. So I thank you very much for that. No, thank you for hey, saying hey, that, Rob, man. Well, we got you well, while you got while you got my mood on here, tell me about uh, your company and what you're doing for young athletes today. Okay, so uh, my name is Robert T. Green. I'm, I'm the CEO of a company called Pre Post Game. It stands for Before, During, and After. And essentially, um, separate of that, I go by the name the Players Rep, meaning everything I do. The only thing that I do is work for the athletes in the family's best interest, We're teaching business principles about sport, how it's short lived, and how things go, and even making proper decisions as early as high school. And what really goes into college and the education piece, uh, transition succession plan, and know who you are outside of the game before the game is over. Because, like I said, pre post game, you never know when it's going to end. Um, and essentially, too, in 2018, sports, like my mantra is sports is not a game, it's all business. So, what I do is some young athletes that come from areas like I come from, the hood or whatever, instead of taking away their dream, I'll say, you know what, for example, I'll ask a kid, what's your three favorite players? And they'll say, LeBron, Kobe, they'll say, uh, Steph Curry. I say, okay, fine. Tell me what they're getting paid. So they'll tell me, and then they'll say, okay, well, i ask them, well, what's the tax code in that state? Then they'll start breaking that down. So i start teaching them about business principles, real money. So now they engage with it. So now they continue to follow their dream, but the reality is the numbers are slim already as it is. But whenever that game does change and go a certain way, they're already prepared and like to do what they got to do on and off the court. So, again, when people come up and talk to them and start feeding them dreams and things like that, we talk about education and power and protection. If those people are not communicating those tactics to you, you know, look the other way. Because at the end of the day, they are trying to make money or use you to get to where they want to be, but not where you want to go. So that's a quick synopsis of what I do. So at the end of the day, you inspire what you do to what I try to do today for athletes at every age, before, during, and after. Man, so I appreciate man let, me, let me just say something, man. When you said, uh, I think, education, power, protection, or I, I don't know all the words yes. you use, but all the things that you just <laughs> mentioned, man, is definitely... It's profound. It's needed. You're a valuable resource. I hope that I wish that we would have had something like that, uh, a person like like yourself, man, disseminating that type of information at that early age because it's very much needed. I I I pray for for you nothing but success. I hope that a lot of these young people who are listening, man, uh, will, will gravitate to what you said and 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 even come out and and allow you to. To mentor them because I mean I'm, I'm I listen to everything you just said and there's some powerful stuff that you just dished out man and nothing but the best for you and there's anything that I can do even if it's just passing out pa uh, pamphlets. I'm here just I look brother I, and I and I don't I don't use I don't mince my words literally I love everything you just said man and just continue to continue to do what you're doing and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna show dividends. I appreciate that. And your yeah. story, again, in itself yeah. leads by example and encouraged to me what I continue to do. Well, thank you, brother. You know what? I, I'll get my group and uh, Rob, I'll get your uh, information together. I'll get you two guys together.